Now, remember I said it was sort of price discrimination and how wrongheaded it was for some of the media to make this about race or culture or, 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 or um, you know, your, your origin? Pull up that chart for me, Kellyanne, and let's take a look at the median income of Americans. Give me a thumbs up when they can see it. All right, I'm looking at a chart right now that shows the median household income in the United States by ethnic groups. And this comes out of the U.S. Census Bureau on a study that was completed in 2015. So this goes back about, you know, almost 10 years. However, it still is alive and well today. And after the next census, it's going to be updated. But you know what the highest median income in the U.S., if you want to turn this into a discussion about ethnicity and race, Indian Americans, as in India, as in Chennai, Hyderabad, people from those cities coming to the United States, their median income, $100,500. The average for everyone, all citizens, 56200 You know who was second? Filipino Americans. And I know something about this because California, Oxnard, California, and South City, it's called, South San Francisco, tremendous, thriving Filipino communities. 83,000 median household income. Next, Taiwanese. <clears throat> you know the people that are living under the threat of being invaded by China at some point? 82,000. Um, this chart is going to be up here. You can go clip it, tweet it. I tweeted it this morning. But if you're listening in the car, I'll now run down the list some more. Sri Lanka, off the coast, island off the coast of India. 74,600. Japanese Americans, 72,000. <clears throat> Malaysian Americans, 70,000. Chinese Americans, 69,000. Pakistani Americans, 66,000. General white Caucasians, 60,000. Korean Americans, 59,000. Indonesian Americans, 57,000. Dead average, as I shared, 56,200. That's the average for everybody in the U.S. Bangladesh, Bangladeshis, 50,000. Nepal, 43,000. Hispanic Americans, 43,000. African Americans, 35,000. So this is not to say that there's not work to be done, but if you're gonna make this an ethnic discussion, you know, about, oh, you're, you're helping, you're, 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 the white people are paying for it and the, the blacks and the Hispanics are benefiting from it, that was so wrong-headed of the media to say that because the richness of the tapestry of America and the citizenships are here that if you are from India and Asia, they tend to, to be really driven in terms of work ethic and entrepreneurship and small business oriented. The areas I mentioned, Oxnard, California and South City, San Francisco, it is not just a thriving community, it's a thriving community of small business owners with an average family household income of $83,000 a year, Filipinos, against an average of right around for the United States of 56,000. So I found that, I thought I would add it to this. And by the way, we're gonna see this republished very shortly after they finished the studies from the more recent census. So I, I just thought that this was something really important to talk about and really important to kind of get into a little bit here because I'm going to go back and get into it with our government as I talk about taxes in a second. But um, if you want to see that chart, go look at, at Tom Ellsworth. That's my Twitter handle. Go find it in there. I tweeted that chart this morning. And so, as the biz doc likes to say, words talk, numbers scream. And in this case, the numbers are screaming and the Biden administration's wrongheaded move on what it's doing on mortgages, penalizing people with higher um, uh, credit scores versus giving benefit to people with lower credit scores, they are penalizing all the people you just up. They're penalizing Filipino Americans, Chinese Americans, Taiwanese Americans. May I go on? You can see what's going on. So what they think they're doing, they're not. And when they want to make this into just this, this narrative of pitting races against each other, sorry dudes, the numbers don't, numbers don't match. So words can spin, words can talk. These numbers scream truth.